The iPad mini 6 is looking incredible and I'm going to be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So plenty of news to cover today about the new iPad mini 6. We've got the spec, design, pricing and launch information telling us that we're in for an incredible new iPad. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of Apple. Let me know in the comments what device you're watching this video on. So many believed that we'd be getting the iPad mini 6 in the second half of 2020 after many sources issued a report to back this up. Unfortunately, that didn't happen and we've now had pretty much all of the iPads updated apart from the iPad mini 6. Not to worry for the iPad mini fans though, as a newer research note from reliable analyst Ming-Chi Kuo advises that the iPad mini 6 is coming and it's coming in the first half of 2021 and it's going to have many improvements over the predecessor. This also makes sense if we look at the release schedules, we tend to get a yearly update on the iPad mini apart from the break we saw after the fall. The 2019 iPad mini was released in March, so it makes sense for the iPad mini 6 to make its debut in March 2020. There are a few rumors saying that we will see it in November, but with no evidence backing this up, I just don't think it's going to happen. We also had Lika Komiya even say that he thinks we won't see a new iPad mini at all. According to Ming-Chi Kuo though, the iPad mini 6 is coming with a new mini LED backlight technology. This is also being added to the next Pro models. According to DigiTimes, this is from Tripod Technology and it uses super thin rigid PCB boards to achieve it. Ming-Chi Kuo goes on to say that Apple will accelerate the use of this display technology and it's going to be coming in many of their new releases. The mini LED technology offers deeper blacks, higher brightness levels and they're more energy efficient than the standard OLEDs. It also has a higher contrast ratio than standard OLED displays and they're less likely to get any burn-in issues that can occur on conventional OLED displays. We also have incredible news that for the first time in the iPad mini series history, we'll be getting an increase in the size of the display. The iPad mini 6 is expected to come with a new 8.5 inch display instead of the usual 7.9. Now there are already people reporting rumors of super slim bezels and no home button thanks to an in-display fingerprint scanner. Now I'm not saying that this won't happen, but it is very unlikely. If we look at the rest of their releases, it just doesn't look like something that they'll be doing anytime soon on the mini and there's no evidence to back up any of these rumors. Ming-Chi Kuo also advises that the iPad mini 6 is going to follow the SE strategy and be given a more up-to-date chipset which will likely be the A13. This is going to make for an incredibly powerful and efficient iPad mini 6 so it's great news for the consumers. This news was also backed up by Chinese tech site MyDrivers so it is looking like a very likely outcome. And unlike many recent releases, Ming-Chi Kuo believes that the iPad mini 6 is going to be coming with a 20 watt fast charger inside its packaging. So overall, the iPad mini 6 is looking like an incredible device and a good improvement over its predecessor. For those interested, we're going to run through the specs, design and pricing now to give you the best idea possible for this new device. So the iPad mini 6 is coming with an 8.5 inch mini LED display that brings improvements over conventional OLEDs. We're unsure at this time if it's going to be Touch ID or Face ID, but it's unlikely to be both and we'll update you guys as soon as we hear something. We've got no details of the selfie camera being used yet, but to be honest, don't expect anything special, it's just going to be an adequate selfie camera. On the rear, expect the usual plain design with a single selfie camera in the top left. Again, nothing groundbreaking here, so expect 8 to 10 megapixel sensor. The iPad mini 6 is reportedly going to be powered by the A13 Bionic, and we expect to see 4GB of RAM with a choice of 64, 128, or 256 storage. Battery capacity is still unknown, but given the increase in size, we're hoping for a 5,500 mAh battery, which is going to be plenty for an all day battery life. Given that it's coming next year, many are also hoping to see Apple Pencil Gen 2 support, but many fear that this won't be the case after the 10.2 inch was restricted to Gen 1. There are no leaks on this yet, but as always, I'll update you guys as soon as we hear something. 
Now, of course, the iPad Mini 6 is expected to launch in March 2021. When it comes to pricing, many are saying that it's going to be the same as its predecessor at $399. But personally, I think this is just a little bit optimistic. If they increase the display size and the technology, then I think it's more realistic to expect at least a small price bump, although they still have to keep it within that budget range. So my guess is expect to launch around $350. Of course, this is a little bit of information, but with a lot of speculation and supply chain estimation at this stage, so there's plenty that could change. As always though, I'll update you guys as soon as we do hear something new, but I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below. Who out there is waiting for the iPad Mini 6? And if it's not the iPad Mini 6 you're waiting for, then what tablet is it? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.